Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I guess I do this now because it's the only time I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna show you how I um prepare wild lettuce for use. It's actually really easy. You can just lay it on paper towels, and you can lay it anywhere in your house. I'm using my hearth because it's the only area inside my house that's really available for this i'm not putting it outside because the intense heat and sun will evaporate all of the uh <clears throat> the sap out of it i forgot what it's called and this these are the varieties this is the uh virosa this is some cereola uh, I think, yeah, this is some cereal or two, I think, this might be another variety, and this might be cereal, this is from a different type of lettuce, it's blue, uh, that I found, actually, uh, all these other ones have yellow flowers, I think this is cereal, just off of a different plant, this is cereal, and you can see how tiny the leaves are, compared to this and this one's by my air purifier excuse me guys I'm very sorry um, my nose is screwed up I need to take some allergy medication here is my air purifier and what this does purify the air it's in its name made Made you sound like I think you're dumb by saying it. <laughs> In this bag, I have some seeds. And I just let them dry naturally in here. And as they dry every couple of days, I'll shake the bag. And I'll get some seeds out of that. This is cereola seeds. All the virosa seeds, the virosa tends to flower before the cereola. I've noticed that. The, uh, the cereola tends to flower later. And it gets shorter. So, I have two, maybe three varieties of cereal. I actually think I have a Virosa seedling in my yard right now. This variety. And some cereal over outside, getting a lot of harvest out of that. And over here. So, uh, yeah, I'll just one based on this. Show you how I harvest it tomorrow. Show you some plants. I think it's pretty cool. Love you guys. I'll see you in another video. Bye.